you minted btc.sats just a few months ago, like two or three, you would have turned maybe one or two dollars in transaction costs into over $10,000 in a matter of two to three months. Now, what is this btc.sats? Well, .sats is similar to what ENS is on E. If you don't know what ENS is or you don't know what .sats is, that's okay. Do you know what .com is? Well, you're probably watching this video on YouTube.com. Some of the most popular .com names sold for millions of dollars. And you could have purchased one of these .com names for just a couple dollars. Just going on like GoDaddy or DomainNames.com. Just a couple of different websites you could have used in order to purchase these different .com names. Carinsurance.com sold for almost $50 million. The ROI on that is just astronomical, turning a couple dollars into millions of dollars. Yes, that's better than a meme coin. Insurance.com, VacationRentals.com, PrivateJet.com, all of these millions of dollars. Now, you're probably sitting there looking at it like, well, dot coms are back in the 2000s and I wasn't in there. I wasn't even born. I, I wasn't even ready to start playing in the game. Well, let's take a look at ENS domains. ENS domains, these suckers, they came out a couple of years ago. And if you simply would have gotten 000.eth and purchased that domain for a couple of dollars and an ETH transaction fee, well, I guess ETH transaction fees are like $1,000, but still you would have turned that into $321,000 for 000.eth. Now, when I say thousands of dollars for a ETH transaction, I'm kind of joking when I say that, but these were a couple of the ENS domain names that sold for Buku dollars. And these ROIs happen in a matter of months. So you purchased it and turned a couple of dollars into hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now, in my opinion, the same thing is happening with the .sats domain names. Me personally, what I would recommend doing is getting a couple of the one to four letter dot sats names and the gas fees are low on Bitcoin. Like I just told you earlier in this video, having the BTC dot sats, you could have turned a couple of dollars into over $10,000. This literally just sold on May 19th. So at the time of recording, two days ago. So here's some more information on dot sats. The .sats domain is basically a new extension specifically designed for the Bitcoin and crypto community. The .sats domain names are aimed at Bitcoiners who want to replace their Bitcoin address with easier to remember text-based domain names. Here's what this means. If someone wanted to send me some Bitcoin, this is a address for one of my Bitcoin wallets. As you can see here, if I tell them, hey, look, you owe me $100 for da 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 whatever services I provided. They have to send it to BC1QWMLVCLAPFQ8TU84HRNG4G48... Dude, no one's going to remember that. However, if I have something like, hey, send me uh, one Bitcoin at btc.sats and we're square. Or hey, my restaurant is called, I don't know, Drake's Kitchen, whatever you want to call it and someone wants to pay for a meal in Bitcoin and it costs $10. So I'm like, hey dude, send me $10 of BTC into drakeskitchen.sats. So instead of remembering this BC1Q, all they gotta do is say, all right, look, Drake's Kitchen, I'm sending you $10 in sats to drakeskitchen.sats. Or let's say, for example, my company name is Hershey and someone wants to buy a Hershey bar from me. Well, they can simply send $1 to Hershey.sats and basically pay me in Bitcoin. And I don't have to remember all the crazy mumbo jumbo Bitcoin address. That's the best way to understand how .sats works. And this is the same thing with ENS on Ethereum. So now with all that talk out of the way, how do we get one of these .sats names? Well, you simply go to Inscribe. This is on Unisat. You're going to need to get a Unisat wallet. So to get this, you simply just download from Chrome and you get some private keys and don't share those with anyone, do whatever, and just don't share it. Write down on a piece of paper. And you're going to have to upload Bitcoin into your Unisat wallet. You can get some Bitcoin on Cash App, any of the exchanges, whatever, send it to your Bitcoin wallet. You don't need a bunch of money to do this. Now you go to Inscribe 
and you go to dot sats names. Let's say I want to do, I don't know, I have to pick a random one, YouTube, uh, crypto, Bitcoin, just like a really long name. Of course, I doubt someone actually got this one. Yeah, it's available. So YouTube dot or YouTube crypto Bitcoin is probably not a popular <laughs> um, one to grab, but hey, I can still mint this and it's only going to cost me $2 to mint this. $2.69. Actually, I can lower it when the gas fees are low. That's why I said do it with um, lower gas fees because the lower the gas fee costs, the more ROI you get if you are able to sell it for a higher price. So for example, back in the day when the dude minted BTC.eth, or I'm sorry, BTC.sats, this is back on 225, which is February 25th. I don't know, what? three months ago, less than three months ago, this dude's gas fees are probably like 50 cents because the V bytes are much higher than they used to be. And you can actually check out the block scan to see what that is. It's on mempool.space slash mempool, whatever. And you can see the going gas rates here. As you can see, the last block was 20 sats per V byte, which is actually pretty low. That is something you want to look for. So if I was to mint that on Uniswap, Unisat, this would probably cost me around a dollar thirty, dollar forty to mint this. Now I can do some more than uh, just one Sats name. So I can do. It, it'll also tell me like, hey, this one's not available to mint. So apple dot Sats, uh, Hershey dot Sats. Uh, you can do a bunch of names um, and say blah 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 whatever dot Sats, and then it'll tell you if it's available or not available. These ones are not available. You can't mint them. So we're gonna have to come up with a bunch of other names, dot sats, just to show you how many sats you can get. Now, this can get really redundant and hard to do, and um, especially if you're picking a, a, a good name or iconic name or whatever, it can get annoying. Now, all of these are available. I can do these. Or I can just take the power of ChatGPT and say, hey, I need the top 100 uh i don't know food brands and i can have them listed out and it's going to give me the full list and okay this is awesome now i don't want that i say hey stop generating i need it no numbers no numbers no spaces and add dot sats at the end so he's going to add or she whatever she is or it hi thing um yeah here here is the list of stuff now i'm gonna say stop generating i'm gonna get rid of the numbers please so now she's going to get, or it is going to get rid of the numbers for me now i have my full list right here so i'm going to geez that thing is going so fast so now there are still a lot of spaces in these words so i'm going to say make all into one word no spaces for each company so then i'm going to let her generate that for me so she's going to put that all into one word for me and i get a bunch of names so i'm going to say okay this is great awesome uh stop generating you gave me enough names for this video so we're gonna see if this works so i'm gonna copy this these are popular brands so i doubt any of them are going to be available but we'll see if we have something available. So I'm going to paste and we're gonna hit next. Actually, I got a lot of these available. I got the HersheyCompany.sats, I have CraftFood.sats, I have CampbellSoupCompany.sats, Frito-Lay, Coca-Cola, Yum Brands, Amheuser-Busch, InBev, Unilever, Nestle Waters, Hormel Foods Corporation, Smithfield Foods, Kellogg Company, I wonder if I can get Kellogg. Oh yeah, Kellogg's.sats is taken. See, I got a lot of these names. I should probably go ahead and mint these. Why not? But let's see what Mars.sats. I like Mars. M&Ms are really good. So I guess we got a bunch of sats names and I'm just going to mint these because why not? And we're gonna go ahead and see how much this costs. First, I gotta connect the wallet and we're going to see what the costs are. So I can mint this at the 35 sats V byte for $32. Now, if I want to, I can wait till this block space gets lower and I can mint these. So I can wait till it's like 20 sats per V byte and go ahead and have it minted. 
That way it saves money and I have a better ROI. Now, once I have the .sats name and I think it's something popular, let's say, hey, look, I have Nestle, Hormel. You can reach out to the person and say, hey, I have your .sats name. Would you like to have it? And you can either sell it to them or give it to them. I have a couple of .sats names. I made a tweet on Twitter and I was just like, hey, I got a couple of .sats names. If you are any of these popular influencers like Tyke, Dynamo Patrick, Sonny Agarwal, Tootsie Roll, uh, you got the All In Podcast, Nick Drake on, uh, Graham Stephan, the Ice Coffee Hour, Crypto Kaduna, just a bunch of random names. I, I minted some of your dot .sats. If you want the dot .sats username, just contact me or DM me on Twitter, I'll send it over to you. Now, there is one other thing to note. If you are looking to buy some of these dot .sats names, because you're like btc.sats selling for, I don't know, 0.4 Bitcoin, that's a steal. I think it's going to sell for $100,000 in the future. Whatever, you could do that, that's fine. Make sure you're buying the legit and actual .sats username. How do you do that? Well, simply if you see the listing on Ordinal's Marketplace, or if you see it on Unisat, it'll be listed on either of them, wherever you're at. Make sure that the actual asset, the .sats name is real. So what you could do is type in btc.sats. I literally just copied and pasted it from Ordinal's wallet. And you can see here, this is the .sats. This is on February 25th. Okay, this is the actual one. It will have a pop-up that says, hey bro, watch out, this isn't it, this isn't legit. So let's show you a couple of other .sats names to see if they're actually legit, they have hidden characters, or yeah, they're fake. So let's see here, we have ABC News .sats. So this guy is selling this for 300 Bitcoin. So if we go ahead and take a look at ABC News .sats, we simply click on the inscription and copy the abcnews.sats and we can paste it right here hit submit and we see what pulls up if it has some hidden characters it will give an alert and say hey bro this is fake watch out this one seems legit it looks legit they have the timestamp of saturday april 1st 2023 which would make sense being that it's a couple months ago and it was kind of earlier and people minted the abc news you can also go on unisat.io and see what other dot sats names they have here as you can see here it has the green check mark this is basically saying hey look this is og this is the very first mover this is the original one so if we do btc.sats you can see there are a bunch of other ones now there are some others that may have been uh, sent to other wallets and had different transactions but you can tell this is the original one and when you click on it, you can go to the ID, the address, and the information on it. And you can always go by the timestamp to know when it was first dated. So if you're looking at the listings, this will help to use the actual timestamp. Me personally, I wouldn't recommend going out there and buying some. I think it's best to mint some of the early names, like the one to four letter uh, words you can find some of them you just have to try hard use chat gbt and it's going to be a cheaper means to do it i don't think it's worth spending some extra cash for getting to some of these dot sats names unless they are like you think oh hey dude it's trading at ten dollars and i mean stinking it's tom brady dot sats it's got to be worth something well hey that's a strong risk to reward but that that's just something you have to factor in one other thing I want to mention with this is that this is speculation. This is not guaranteed to do well. If Bitcoin is nothing in the future and people don't use it as a payment stream or a payment method, then who cares? It really doesn't even matter. However, if it does become mass adopted and it actually does something, then this could be like the dot com era for crypto and any of these dot sats names. So don't go nuts. Don't be spending thousands of dollars in order to do this unless you think it's something valuable and you're, and you're getting some really good names and you understand that you can lose everything that you spend on it in any of the gas fees, then great, have at it. Now, the good news is, is that Unisat is probably going to have an airdrop. Ordinal's wallet finally announced that they were going to have their airdrop on Twitter. So if you go on to Twitter and type in Ordinal's wallet, I shared this actually... I could just go on my Twitter. I just shared it. But yeah, seems like an airdrop is in order. Now, I see the same thing happening for Unisat as well. 
And this has to do with people inscribing some of the BRC20s, or not inscribing, but minting them. And this will probably have something to do with it as well with the dot sats names. So I would recommend grabbing a couple of the dot sats as well as a couple of the BRC20s and minting them for the cost of the gas fee because it's probably going to be something that is going to be used in their airdrop allocation. If you remember the Arbitrum airdrop, all you had to do is use it a couple times, play with the DeFi dApps, and you got airdrop thousands and thousands of dollars. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys would like to see more content like this, make sure you like, subscribe. And if you guys want to join the exclusive Discord so you guys get more content and support the channel, you guys can do that with the Patreon link in the description below. I have a lot more content on there that I don't show on YouTube, and I'm a lot more active on Discord. And you can see the other plays I don't even mention on YouTube that I'm in. Proverbs chapter 10, verses 13. Wisdom is found on the lips of the discerning, but a rod is for the back of one who has no sense. Be good, be righteous, be sensible. Peace.